Seriously? Have you found some weird turnaround spot? Oh, you have. What speed's the highway? 45 mile an hour? What kind of highway is this? Okay, so here we are overlooking Blighty on the Wold. And after the Twitter poll and the YouTube community channel page poll, it overwhelmingly 80-90% was yes. Get the 81 tile mod on, which is going to open to us every other spot on this map. And I think some of this terrain is going to need some working on as well to try and get this looking really nice but man we need to spread out so let me just talk you through the process of doing this so i've loaded up my map and it is paused because we don't want to break anything um let's jump into my options over here so we've got the 81 tile mod is the first one on the list so before you load your save game so right in the main menu of city skylines go to your mod section go to your 81 tiles click on the settings whatever the button's called and click this button here ignore expanded 81 tiles data when next loading a save if you don't do that uh, on my map your mileage may vary of course but i had problems with districts and areas it was just all a bit wonky and weird so i've done that so now when i load the game it starts pause which is exactly what we want but if we have a look at our areas we can see we don't have any of these areas around here we've got to repurchase these again now of course in the mod you could just unlock every tile and go for it and that's that but i still would like uh, some sort of progression in the game so these are owned i think that's a new tile. yes yeah, so literally all it's given me is that first one i'm gonna pay and unlock these six here that we had before and then any other tiles that we unlock in the future, we are going to pay for them. I'm not going to do a sudden unlocking of everything. And, that, and that's going to be my way of justifying in my own brain that we're using the 81 tile mod. And like we mentioned, there was just no space at all to get the 10,000 that we needed. So let me just unlock this last one here. There we go. We just saw it flicker. I can now purchase that. Excellent. So now we've got all the tiles that we had before. I think we had one other tile. I can't remember which one it was, but anywho. And we can see this is all okay. If we go into here, we've got all of our zones are still there, which are all working okay. Looking good. Everything's working fine. Um, if we unpause this what we're going to find is a lot of hawky balkiness with the water because <laughs> because the water was all outside of the tiles and we've literally just bought the tiles how's hi bicky doing hi bicky doing okay yeah excellent any other flooding anywhere so we've got a bit of flooding there which should sort itself out we've got a bit of flooding here over in audley medieval park oh we always get that stutter when we first zoom in that's not too bad that's nice and low down so i want to get this flooding sorted i mean it's only the park it's the path that should just go and be all right yeah i don't think that'll be too bad we can rebuild anything that needs to but other than that it's all working we haven't got a huge drop in population everything's fine so now uh, as we go back into our options here for 81 tiles uh you could just unlock the 25 in the center you could unlock all areas um, I'm going to ignore area building unlocking progression because if we don't we still need to build the amount of people that we need to unlock the squares but we're not going to do that so I am going to go through and unlock every single square we've got 826,000 I'm going to keep the game running while we do it and see how much money we have left at the end maybe if I just sort of go for like this extra central section like this so I'm not being picky I'm not saying we'll have that but not that one I'm going to take like an extra ring. <laughs> the money is going. Maybe we could just do that to start with and see what that gives us. Well, I'll tell you what I think I want to do first of all is try and get some of our road networks in and connected up and try and beef up. What are we at? 79%. Try and take the weight of all the traffic coming down through the middle of Blighty on the Wold and see if we can spread some of that out around the back here and yeah see what that does to our traffic okay so let's maybe just take this road here that we've got first i like this one as a nice size collector four lane road parking with trees we could make it slightly larger if we needed to but for now we're going to stick with that so that runs on the back here and then it curves around that side so i'm thinking of slightly changing 
the way this road goes. I'd like this to carry on straight through. And that does make it a bit of a weird junction. Now, normally what I might have done is brought that round here as a 90 degree connection, but things like this do happen in real life where you get sort of things splitting off all over the place and all looking a little bit weird. So we're gonna go with that. Um, is there any work I can do on this junction? So that gives access so that off the road, which is fine. Disaster recovery, not used that often. Very good. Okay, yep, yep, yep. There we go. And there's no other roads, was there? I think that's okay. And then we can continue this one. Now, this is going uphill quite a lot. I was hoping just to run that up alongside the trees and then bring it round the back here. Let's see how it goes. And we'll, we'll do a bit of jiggery pokery if we need to. I don't think that's too bad we can sort of make this look a little bit better here so i've got the parallel tool over here i've selected a key and i want to run that alongside here uh, i'm going to go up to here and down to here excellent there we go and then we'll do minus to bring that in There we go. That's better, isn't it? Yep, that's looking good. Excellent. So then when we get up here, this can continue along here. And we've got another collector which it can connect up to. But I'm just thinking, where's it going to go? If we connect it straight up to this, we could then branch off of here and branch off of here and connect. Oh, jumpy game. And connect those up. And that might work okay. Just looking at maybe where that would come off. So we'd have this one go straight down and that be a T-junction. Yeah, I think that will do. Let's let's do that. Okay, there we go. That's good. Cutting through the landscape a little bit. We can smoothify that out. Got a bit of a dip here. So let's just flatten out that dip. Let's go from there to there. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That lifts it up a bit. But we've got two different sorts of roads going on here. So we've got four-lane road on each. This one's got trees down it so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one here and upgrade these whoops up to the junction so that's like a natural break uh, we've got some bus stops right by that junction which is a bit odd and then this one down here i'm going to pause the game when we do this is we're going to remove those and that one we're going to grab this one and this is going to come straight down through here and then we want that to connect over here somewhere. So I'm just thinking where we don't have a road connection would be good. And in fact, actually, that might just literally come straight down into there like so. Again, let's get rid of the trees. And then this one here where it comes out can literally just do a little 90 degree switcheroo. Let's see if we can get that to go in there like so that's what i want excellent we've got some traffic lights that are going on there which is good so now you can come off the highway here in this rather interesting junction that was already on the map so a lot of oh no this is yeah it was already on the map but we just upgraded it to all the uk roads didn't we so you can come off of here straight into the roundabout straight down here then you get access to all of this and now you can come into the city this way into a blighty on the wold let's just make that 20 there and we're going to move these buses they're like in a really bad spot there right by that junction i mean ideally i wouldn't want them between these two junctions but if we could maybe move them back here where that path is that's coming through as well and it gives a little bit of space we can still queue because it sets them right back off the road most of our buses are smaller in size so that should work okay just going to add a few UK trees. Uh, we're going to do that. So that's give way because keep the main road going. And then down here we do have a traffic light. And this one is moving perfectly well. Don't want a traffic light right there. So that is going to be give way. And I feel like we just need to... 15 will be okay on that one. That one's not connected. And then we're off to the races. We're heading on down our main road. 
pretty sure most of these are going to be give way. Pretty sure most of these. What I tend to do is like 14 or 15 if it's got a small side road. 20 if it's got an equivalent size side road. I mean, it does. Yeah, maybe we go a little bit smaller on that. I'll break my own rule, make it 12. It does sort of shorten the gap for cars queuing in between. Like these two. Similar size road. I would go 20 in there. There we go. And what do we have? In the way of, yeah, we've got giveaway coming down there. That's fine. Then it's hitting what is our highway. Yeah, so we need to decide what we're going to do with our highway as well, don't we? Because that is going to head out into the great wide beyond of Blighty on the Wold and need some little junctions along here as well. And preferably not ones like this, because this, this junction here works okay, but this is super busy. It's not the best sort of junction. I was going to be changing that at some point. And now we're going to need some sort of junction here as well. Oh, man. Right, let's get my thinking cap on and see what we're going to do here. So this junction here is getting a lot of use. There's a lot of cars coming down here wanting to get on the highway, which is great. And we can see now also from this other connection up here to this highway... And this is being used rather well. I was just thinking about when it heads over in this direction. I mean, there's not a huge amount out here. So this will probably end up being um, another outside connection. I don't have the unlimited outside connection mod installed yet. But if we can at least bring it down to here, the edge of this square, um, then we can decide. It can sort of go along the hillside here and go out. It can even sort of attach on the, uh, on the, the other side, which will be good. But either way... We want this to be a junction. Now, normally, we've got this sort of junction here. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space. But what I don't want to do is destroy anything. So we've got all of this built in here, all these houses. Yeah, they don't want some great big junction here. This school, we don't want that destroyed. So we're going to have to sort of work with what we've got. So we're going to pause the game. I think the first thing we're going to do is take this highway here. Um, so it actually goes quite low down there. And that's lifted quite up. And we're going to put that through... Uh, as a tunnel there we go yep that works fine we're quite near the back of the school here but we can put some trees we can sort of dampen the sound a bit through that and i love the look of these tunnels as well which are great so now we need to give access to all of the people coming and going on these uh roads so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go up to normal height and we'll go out like that so that's going to slope up a little bit we're going to worry about sort of the heights and things as we go along but for now we're just going to sort of go with it i'm going to leave that on so i know if any trees get in the way let us just extend this a little bit more so we've got something to work with and that does actually slope up there doesn't it that piece of land yeah okay excellent we might end up with one more junction if it sort of comes around this way another junction over here because we've got all of this to build around as well plus we've got this collector going through there yeah we can we can see when we get there okay so we want some roads coming off of here Connecting to that, oop, zoomy zoom, we're going to grab that one there, which is our UK road, that should be on here somewhere, yep, that's this one, UK slip road. So I'm thinking we want to have that slip road come off of here, uh, like this, oh, it's with anarchy, there we go, that's what I want, I want it to bend a little bit like that, and then I'm going to have that come straight down here, and I want that to connect into this junction over here. So I'm thinking if I was a planner, I don't want to sort of add it here, having extra junctions next to each other. This road isn't so busy going through here. I mean, it cuts through to there. But yeah, we can sort of maybe do some work with the speeds and things to change stuff. But we'll see how it goes. So I want the two lane version of that going in. We'll go 10 back. So now you can go either direction. And I want it like that. I don't know why I've got it built up in the air. Can we upgrade that? Thank you kindly. And that'll be the same for all of these. Boink and boink. There we go. And then we're going to connect these two together. So I'm going to use this tool in here. And we're going to go from there to there. Yeah, there we go. Get a nice sort of slow sweeping curve. That's fine. That looks actually quite good, doesn't it? Yeah, excellent. And we're going to just change the direction of whatever's complaining. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Very good. We'll work. Uh, we'll worry about the added lanes coming off of here for the slip lanes and stuff in a moment. So that goes that way. Um, and then we're going to want off of here coming up onto this road. So, uh, oh no, that'd be going the other way, won't it? Coming down off of this road onto here. Hang on, am I going the right way again? Which side of the road do we drive on? We drive on the left. 
So we're going down on this way. So that's actually for going in the other direction. There we go. Very good. That doesn't actually need to be two lanes there. We'll just change that to one lane. There we go. So that will join into there and go down there. So then coming off of here, we're then going to come and join up here. And this is definitely going to be some sort of roundabout on here. We've got plenty of space. So maybe this sort of area here would be good. And we've got our roundabout builder. I'm just going to pop that in maybe a little bit bigger like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to use this one here. We do have actual roundabout roads. We're going to go for the three lane one. But the roundabout roads never actually work the way that you want them to work. So we'll do that and we'll come back to doing some jiggery pokery with the roundabout in a bit. And then I want to sort of try, I mean, if I could mirror this over here, that would be great, but it doesn't have to mirror it exactly. Um, I'm just wondering, actually, if I take the move it mod and grab that, 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 and that. Is there a way of mirroring that? So it's the other way, because I'm going to copy it, and that's going to be like facing the wrong way entirely, isn't it? That's going to be no good at all. Hmm. Yeah, no, there isn't really. There isn't. Um, so I'm just going to go with my eyeballs, and we're going to just sort of try and get that almost the same here, if we can. And then we can... Let's disconnect. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see what we can do. Very good. So you can come in that way, curve out that way, join up to the roundabout. The height of all this might get changed. And then coming off of here to join this side, uh, we don't want it too close to this junction here. So you can see we've got the extra lanes coming off here. Um, yeah, so if we grab that road there and add that there, and then we can go back to this one over here. Boom, 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 boom. like that coming down there you've got an extra lane where you can merge in when you're coming off you've got excellent very good um yeah so this one here oh getting another little auto save sip of tea are you after a strong a sturdy mug for your cups of tea or coffee it works for both if you really have to well how about our new cool beans mug now available on bifferplaysmerch.com there we go so if i leave it like this so we can see what's going on so we can get um in there and out there got the roundabout and this side yeah so we're missing one connection but that is basically the best we're gonna do so what what way are we missing we're missing going up and onto here aren't we from this direction yeah we're okay because we've got this extra one up here if people want to come from this side and go down the highway then they can then use this road down here and go down there can't they so that's sort of making the best use of the space that we've got. Um, let's have a look at some of the heights and things going down here. So we want to use this one. I'm thinking we are going to leave this roundabout up in the air. So we're going to go from there all the way to... I mean, that sort of... Do I maybe want to do the height of this bit first? Let's go from there through this junction to there. Slopeify that out. Very good. Uh, we're going to take no controller here and go slope. That's better. So that's nice and flat. Yeah. And then we're going to do the height from here to here. Yeah. Slight adjustment. <laughs> then we're going to go from there to there. Slight adjustment as well. Then we're going to go from here to here. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go from there through there through there to there. Yeah, that's all okay. Then we're going to go from there to there. Slight adjustment there as well. Okay, looking good. We can sort of fill in some of these lumpy, bumpy bits. Oh, yeah, now what I want to change here is... Let's just have a look at this. So that's coming in. Everyone's going to be going left. And um, we want this to be at least a two-lane road. So that's going to be that one. And we're going to bring that back a couple of pieces. They can spread out into the two-lane. Um, now, ideally, with a roundabout like this, you'd have the lane sort of angled off a bit. And that is just like on every single roundabout in the UK. That is what happens. So I'm going to take... No, I'm going to delete that. But then I'm going to grab that. I just want to see how far back this is. 18U. If we just go back to there like that so i'm going to do that we're going to do that and remove that and then i want this to spread out using these and see if we can get that to sort of connect in here without messing this up and of course everybody knows what you need to do if you're going to start messing with the roundabout you want to brace your roundabout so any road that is happy to do this without 
bending unlike these highway type ones we can do that and now we can go from here to here gonna have your anarchy on and i'm sort of eyeballing where i think the center is like that put them the right way round so that one's gonna have to turn around the other way and then i mean i would also remove these nodes in the middle because now you can use the move it mod and you can slope that in just enough like that to make this work we might need to do a little bit of jiggy jiggery pokey with the nodes and in fact this is the wrong one because we don't want give way there um has it put in give way signs or anything like that no so i want a version of this road without give way that is uk based yes yeah, so i think for these bits we're going to use this one yeah that looks a bit better there we go excellent and that can slope in and out and then once we've got this going on here um i don't think we need to expand that anymore we may change this road over here and i'm thinking actually we're going to change this one around here as well because it's adding all these oh actually no it won't have the giveaway signs it's just because we've got this center bit isn't it yeah excellent right so i'm going to do the same as that side and do it on this side there we go that's good and then i'm also thinking about this road coming up here because the reason we're doing this of course is to avoid it being a 90 degree hit like this road here 90 degree hit and then trying to turn you can sort of sweep in and sweep out this one's a 90 degree hit into this road it should ideally be sort of like this so as you come around you can sweep and join on um which means then changing i mean if that stayed straight but was at that sort of angle then it means changing all of this down here and i'm just wondering whether and then that would be this one over here it would then go the other way like that so i'm just wondering whether if we just adjust these There we go that's a lot better we'll do some detailing around there at some point but for now that's okay and then with the way that these roads work uh we need to grab this and go like that so everybody gets a lane going in um they will turn around at the end that's like an automatic connection now which this guy is probably gonna do yep there we go so that's fine because i would i would never leave a, an end of a highway like this i'd always have it turn around at the end so that's fine let's just check there's no traffic lights or anything weird going on there no we're fine we're going to need to do the same over here unfortunately with these yeah when um there's not like a one-sided version of this with the extra lane as far as i know no so if i upgrade that we might as well do that one as well it means this side here they're going to have to sort of go down into the into less lanes which you know that's not the end of the world so we're going to do that and we're going to have not this one merge. We're going to have this one. So the outside lane is merging in. These ones all carry on down. And that's just the outside lane that's coming from over there. It's almost like they've got an extra long run in before they have to do that. So then over here, um, we've got some trees on the road. So let's get rid of those. There we go. Excellent. So this one is going out, isn't it? So we could... I don't think we need a traffic light on here. This road, as we said before, isn't so busy. So let's grab that tool there. So that's give way. And these can just go out. That's fine. So we'll leave that like it is, to be honest. That's doing okay. Um, and that's it, isn't it? And this other connection over here. Oh, it's a roundabout. Let's set this up like a roundabout. Control, shift, left click. It's only 30 mile an hour, isn't it? 35 mile an hour. And these are only 35 mile an hour. To be honest, what speed's the highway? I mean, this should be 45 mile an hour. What kind of highway is this? Didn't we change all of this before? 45, 45. That is like super slow. No way. Is that 45 everywhere? See, it should be national speed limit like this. Okay. Um, there's a way of changing this. If I pick... How do I do this? How do I do this? So, get me miles an hour. Do that there. But there's a way of changing this for all the roads. Edit lane speed. Default speed limit per road type. 45. And if I do national speed limit oh that's unlimited oh okay so these basically should be 70 and if i do that yes 70 70 these ones won't have changed 
But I'm going to do that. And now it's going to change all of those slip road ones. That's 70. That's 70. Oh, man. We've got some traffic going on there. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I want these ones here where the lanes have gone down to be 70. Uh, these bridge ones, 70. These ones down here are 70 where they were unlimited before. I think I must have thought that was 70. 70, 70. What have we got going on here? 70. Right. And then the slip lanes coming on and off. Got to be honest, you want to be getting super quick down here. I would definitely change those to 50 and do that all the way along. So the bridge and the normal... So this is 70 for some reason up here. Let's just change that to 50. We do that, that, and that one's changed already. 50, 50, 50. Yeah, just check around on here. So that's going to make all of this a lot quicker. That was all 35. Yeah, let's check this one. 50, 50, 50, and 70. Yeah, that to me makes a lot more sense. 50... Let's have a look there. I mean, to be honest, you would come down here normally and it would be 50, 60, and then 70, you know, just to get your speed going. But we'll go with that. Uh, this is 35. I'm going to make this 40. There we go. Excellent. So now if I do this, control shift, left click. That one's 35. I missed it. I saw, I saw, I missed it. There we go. Excellent. Everybody else is still 40. And then what I want to do is here say, go straight through, go straight through. No crossing, no crossing, no crossing. And then over here, no crossing, go straight through, no crossing, go straight through, no crossing. Just to keep that moving. Then we even do a little bit of intersection marking tool there at some point. Excellent. So now we've given everybody on here a great connection to this highway. And I am wondering whether I could just go and get the unlimited outside jumpy jumpy connection mod and connect that out there. How much money do we have? So we've got, connection-wise, what do we got? We've got this one here, which is going out on the top side. I know we've got one coming in from this side. We've got one from, yep, yeah, the bottom side. And we don't have one from this side. So where would we go? Top or side with this? Just looking at the lay of the land. Yeah, what do you reckon? Let's call this the north and this the east. Should we go an extra one on the north or an extra one on the east? I mean, that's quite close there. I reckon north, actually. I reckon north because you have the north one so far away. But for now, we'll just leave it like that and uh, hope that that is going to please everybody. And I think that looks nice. Yeah, I'm just looking at this and it is adding giveaway signs here where we don't want them. So I'm thinking maybe we'll upgrade to this road from a different creator but that fits in well yeah excellent and that should all be okay shouldn't it the same give way yep you go through in the right spot so what we'll do control shift left click it will just do it all for us yeah excellent and just ah oh, the speeds on this might be different 30 yep let's get those back up to 40 again and i think that will be this section sorted there we go and there we go very good very good and the traffic's going down over here now that's okay it's just a yeah a little snafu with the roundabout but we're all doing good is this now being used all the way along here let's check that junction not so many cars coming down here. Yeah, so maybe connecting to the top over here isn't the ideal solution. Okay, I went off, got the mod, unlimited outside connection. It's enabled, it's been loaded. So I'm just looking at over here, thinking where can this go? And what sort of money can we spend doing it? So if we look at the lie of the land, we're already sort of coming up onto this height. And then we've got a bit of a hill here. So I'm thinking it's going to run along here, along here, along here, and then come out here somewhere would just make sense to me, more or less. I mean, we can sort of monkey with that a little bit if we like. So what I'm going to do is I want to unlock a couple of squares. I want to unlock that square there. 33,000. Thank you very much. And I'm going to grab this here with a picker picker mod. And we're going to say, that that is going to come through this little intersection here we've got to buy another square okay so man we'll be buying all the squares let's get that one and then we're going to be going up there somewhere so we'll get that in a minute here yeah excellent so i want this to be coming sort of through there I don't know. It looks to me like it's a good piece of land for a highway. That's what we're doing. Um, and then it's going to come along here, along here, and then swing round and come out this way. That is actually quite hilly, isn't it? I think we'll just deal with that because we have to just sort of... <laughs> has to go somewhere. I've lost where it is. There. So along there, along there to here. So we're going to have to buy another square. We're only going to need this one here. And then we're going to need... I'm going to go for that one and see if we can sort of make it through there. 
So up there along here, and then it's gonna I'm gonna put another piece of road in here so we can connect to that. And then I'm gonna get it to curve around and just go up through here. And I've never used this mod before. Let's just see. Do I literally just do that? And that now works. I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen. Right, let's grab our mod. So we're gonna have a connection from there to here. Yep, that's okay. And we want it like that. Yep, thank you very much. And then we're gonna go from there to here yep very good and then we're going to go from here this is be the one that will be a little bit oh no, that's okay it sweeps through there all right you know and if that digs through the landscape a bit that's fine i mean highways generally in this country are sort of like this maybe not quite so high on either side but you get that sort of barrier from the land to keep the noise down so the fact that's cut through there we can work on the heights. That is not a problem. But what I want to see is whether people are going to start coming in this way or not. So maybe I'm just going to park myself up here for a little bit. That's the way out up there. And I'm going to see what happens. And literally within 30 seconds of connecting it, cars are now coming in down this road. So that 100% works, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're getting a lot of cars coming down this road. Okay, well, yeah, just ignore. Oh, do you know what we could do here with this? Let's just do a little bit of something here before all these cars come in. If we get the picker picker mod, and then we could put this as like a raised road. Coming down here. Yeah, I'm going to smoothify that out. So I want to see here. Look, that person's leaving. Let's have a look. What's this person doing? Uh, driving to parking spot. What? You're going up there to get over here. Seriously? Have you found some weird turnaround spot? Oh, you have. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to manually join this up. I think it's still thinking it's like the old connection. Anyway, a few cars might still do it. But we're going to have some cars coming down here, which is exactly what we want to see. Coming off at the slip lane and then go in other places. And what I wanted to find out is where they're going. So we grab this and take... Well, we can't do one side of the road or the other because of the way the road works. So basically, it's all private vehicles. And they're all coming down here. Some are... Oh, jumpy, jumpy. Some are going up, coming off and spreading out. Some are going straight through, straight through and then spreading out up here. So that is pretty good. So that means less vehicles will be coming down this connection and more vehicles will be coming down this connection, which is exactly what we want to see. And those cars have all probably disappeared because I did that. Here they all come. I can see them. I can see them. So I want to put some road signs around that junction, do a bit of detailing. At some point, we need to decide which is north, east, south, and west. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to say this is north, obviously then east, south, and west. So south is where this river comes in. Um, so that means if we come down here, there's a load of road signs that we can now have access to, which come with the UK Revisited. So we want one that says north straight on and west to the left, um, which means, let's have a look, I'm probably going to have to go through these. Right, here we go. So some of the different signs that we can use here, we're going to use this one first of all. Uh, if I get my picker, picker, mod. actually I'm going to use the move it mod. I think that is this one, and we'll copy that. Yeah, so we're going to have it say north straight on, because that is the furthest direction. If you're going to carry on down the highway, that's going to take you out on the north. And then if you want the town send, you can come off and come along here. You know, we'd have other signs showing you things like that. So that would normally be right back here somewhere, so you can get yourself into your lane ready. So if I can get that to be the same height as everything else with ye olde move it mods, that is probably where it's okay so we'll line that up there and if i do control h the height of that node i think that should be okay excellent so we've got town center north i know there's a trash problem let's just ignore that and carry on and then right at the very end where that comes off here we would have one of these so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to put that there by the slip so as you're coming down here you know this slip lane here oh yeah i want to get across i want to get off there now, before you get down to this slip lane, you can have these little doobries here, which every one of these is 100 yards, I think. <laughs> Still do use yards for some things. I'm going to move these instead. Are they going to stay the same height if I move them? 
Yes, there we go. So, I mean, I'm going to have to just basically eyeball this. Yeah, because we've got these barriers here, I'm going to just sort of put those on the inside like that. So we'll have that one 100 yards. This one I'm going to have to move out of the way. There we go. We're going to sort of guess where we reckon another 100 yards is back. It's not going to be accurate, but we'll just go with it. And then I can grab that one. And then we'll go back. What's another 100 yards? Roughly there. So you see the sign, where you want to get off, and then you get the countdown afterwards. You've got 100 yards, uh, 300 yards, 200 yards, 100 yards, and then you pull off. Excellent, that's good. And then we've got these signs here to tell you whether a motorway is starting or ending. So as you're coming off of this road here and coming up to the roundabout, we need the motorway ending sign. Um, so let's just come out of this view, grab the Move It Mods. So we want to say that the motorway is going to be ending up here and I'm probably going to put that just before this junction along here. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think it's going to float up in the air and you normally have one either side of the road. There we go. So as you're coming up here, motorway is ending. Excellent. And then the other sign that we had is the motorway starting. So this one here, we're going to copy that. And now we're thinking of the cars that are coming down this way. I would think once they get sort of past this bend, we're going to start giving them information that the motorway is starting. So this one's going to go there. That one is going to go there. There we go. And then they're going to be merging with the traffic on there. So we want to grab this sign here. And we want to let them know that once they get down here, there's going to be a lot of merging going on. So we're going to give them a couple of instances of this i'm thinking that these do would normally go, would normally go on the left so we're gonna have one there and then we're gonna have another one down here but we're also gonna have a, a couple down here as well just to say that there's gonna be a little bit of merging coming in now i don't know how many you'd normally have of these i've just done a little bit of research or tried to do a little bit of research online just to find if there's a nice easy place that tells you how often these signs need to be placed and where but so it doesn't confuse anybody on the highway we'll do that on the motorway i should say we're in blighty on the world here got to keep it all queen's english beg your pardon king's english um, yep so that's going to carry on down there and show that um and then that is about it really and then we've got these here and then of course you'd have all sorts of other signs up here giving directions we could possibly do some speed signs yeah so we've got some speed signs we can use um i'm gonna take this one here and copy that because this is 50 when you come up here so we're going to place one of those either side 50 and then when you get up to the end here this goes down to 40 uh, let's go back to our little sign collection there we go thank you very much we'll grab that one and we're going to say so you've got the motorway end sign that's along here somewhere yep there we go and then when you get up here we're going to say that this is going to be oh we've got the motorway end sign at the end here as well look oh it automatically adds them well you get a double warning so that's fine and then down here, we're going to say that all of this is 40. Excellent. There we go. Very good. And then also, I want to, you know, make sure that these people aren't speeding along here. I know a lot of people love speeding through this bridge. Nice straight piece of road. We've got the UK average speed camera. Um, that is a very small one. Is this an extra wide one? This is the one that sort of hangs over the end. I mean, we could do this one and sort of go with the... So which way is that facing? It's very hard to say. Oh yeah, there's the camera there, yeah. So in the UK, I don't really have those in other parts of the country. We have these average speed cameras. So it will grab your number plate as you're going past it here. Normally they'd be a little bit higher over the gant uh, on a gantry, sort of over the top here like this, but we'll just go with that one. So it would take your number plate here, and then it might take it another couple of times through here, and then at the end it will say, you know, when you left that area, and then that would be, uh, it would work out your average speed. So we're going to add one there, we're going to add one there, and then we're going to add one here where everybody comes on. And if you're trying to do a UK style city as well, I mean, the amount of props that come with the UK roads revisited is just absolutely amazing. There are so many, and I'm going to try and sort of use more of these as we're building in our city. But yeah, oh, I tell you, that'd be really good. Um, it goes around to the left first, doesn't it? And this is quite sort of sharp and bendy around here. So we're also going to add in this one just to warm people up here once they get around this corner. There we go. That's going to bend that way. 
And then we're going to do the same for these down here. And this is bending the other direction. So we're going to say this is going to bend round to the right first, just so they know about that. And they can slow down a little bit. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm liking that. So we've added a heck of a lot of infrastructure in. A new highway, motorway intersection there, a new outside connection, a new road coming all the way along our old build over here. And we now use the 81 tile mod so we can expand and keep expanding, which is fantastic. Where are we going to build next? Well, to find out, you will have to subscribe and be back here for the next one. Thank you very much for all your continued support. I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.